that's what my husband said. He's like, I don't want you to, are you going to disappear? And I was like, I don't think I'm going to disappear. Depends I'm not going to tell him I'm going to disappear. <laughs> I'm not telling him that. I think it's on your vibration, your contract, mm -hmm. and what you uh, contracted to do. So we won't know that until... It's it could be Friday or it could go into July. So, yeah, so maybe I could think I'm ascending and I'm not because I contracted to stay and People do work here. People have already begun to ascend. But you may have contracted to do additional work here, just like I may have That's why I'm sitting waiting for the curtain to go yeah. up because I'm not, the show's not ready, so I was I don't have a ticket for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the floor sweeper. I was just saying I'm the floor sweeper. You at least have a seat. <laughs> What I've learned in the past couple of weeks is that, you know, we are all here on our own journey mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So just like you have your family and you want to, maybe you want to bring them along, maybe you don't, they sort of have to figure that out on themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. So you have your individual purpose yeah. first, sort of, and then they come second in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be so more on a selfish go, way to take if, them with me. If you are to go, there. I'm sure you've contracted with them in some other body to go and they know that in the end of the deal you know, once we Down all get because before we are married we sit at the conference table our soul family <coughs> and we make up our contracts we decide who's going to be our parents where we're going to live and uh, who we need to finish up karma with so we'll sit there in this beautiful uh, wooden table and well, you know what, I need to finish up this from Atlantis with you, so how about if we meet on this day, and sure, that sounds good, and we'll sign in, and it'll go into the Akashic Records. When they were pushing me to learn Kundalini, they showed it to me in a contract form by bringing up the contract, and it's an L slash Kundalini. I'm like, what is L slash Kundalini? Are you kidding me? I went to a metaphysical store never heard of L slash Kundalini. I've heard of Kundalini Yoga. Well, maybe that's what it is. It turns out the Kundalini is life force a, a coiled at the bottom of the root mm -hmm. that needs to come up for you to raise that vibration. Mm -hmm. L is for Lisa. L is for Lisa. Yes. Or learn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now see, when I was on that table and I was having that what I thought to be Reiki done, that's how I felt. I felt like I settled so much yeah. to where everything that I had, you know, kind of had to deal with, I dealt with and resolved on that table. There you go. Mm -hmm. and that's I almost have been a great healer. Oh, it was, it was fabulous. <laughs> yes, yes, you are a great healer, right? <laughs> Thank you. It was, it was very good. You know, that whole, like, you know, like... It's oh. funny because I remember that life in Atlantis. Were they healing, cr healing crystal caves? Yes. Okay. I want and to remember. And then I went all the way up, and it, it started, the eruptions. And I just looked down, looked up, and flew off. And see, I, re I remember, too, uh, in two meditations it came to me. One, the meditation, I was standing in, in the castle, looking out, and I could see the ocean, because I like to daydream and look out that way. And it was being dark out, but it wasn't night, and you could hear, like, that earth-shattering rumble, like thunder, where it shakes the house, like that, yeah. and, um, and saying, I'm going to miss everybody. And then the next meditation was somebody, my husband, saying, it's all right, and it was like that was the end of the world where we both died together. Yeah. And then, and actually going, dying was easy, yeah. you know. And then there was other meditations that were like so emotional. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, dying was easier than this. Well, at that point, that's when you go back up to the source, and yeah, you come together with your family, but you're also hit with your um, records. How, what did you do in your life? Every amount. I mean, when I do a healing. I will see people, images, but I can also feel what they're feeling, and that's what we will go through. If you hurt anybody, you're going to feel their pain. If you make them happy, you'll feel their happiness. So you go through each individual record and each individual event that you've done here. And again, in healings, uh, sometimes with kids, I'll be in one person's body and I can feel their emotions and then I'm into another one and feeling their emotions and their anger and their pain. It's really wild. I know Reiki is down here, but the Crystal Pyramid technique is that, that higher 
mm. vibrational healing that so is it possible? I've never heard of anybody who got to feel it before they actually came. I know, right? That, that's, that's the crazy it's part. It's amazing. Is the things that mm -hmm. I get to experience, it's, it really is otherworldly. And I feel them, I sense them. I, I mean, the, like you, I can be in meditation and I can feel certain things where I know I can feel my leg all of a sudden start tingling to where I'll feel like, all right, somebody is there. Um, different sensations up my spine. There's been many meditations where I've come out to where I have no top of my head. And then there was one where I'm like, I don't even think I have a head. It was just such a bizarre feeling of disconnect and, and just not being here for some less. And then also, too, in one of them, I got to feel like, they say, the light that's going to come yes. and stuff. Uh, the, the man in my head, which was actually you, I was saying, <laughs> you know, is the light going to hurt? And then, no, it's not going to hurt. And I'm like, well, what is it going to feel like? And said, so, well, this is what it's going to feel like. And, and I actually felt the light come up through me and everything. So I'm like, ooh, this is weird. I got to chest drive it. <laughs> I don't know. It's like weird stuff like that. And I'm like, is that bizarre yeah. for that? Yeah, time? because it is actually a white light. It, no, you're just connected. You are connected. All right. All of this to guide those who are around you. And I remember it better mm -hmm. than anything. And some of my my meditations are like movies. I can hear. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a full length extended play because I can meditate for like five or six hours in this state, yeah. and not and still be like, all right, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. Just don't meditate when you're driving. That's how no, no. Me. <laughs> and I almost ended up in Pennsylvania. Oh jeez. <laughs> I, I kid you not. <laughs> no, I be tend to be like, oh, I gotta one. keep my eyes on the road but I don't know I just feel like holy cow like two months ago I would have never thought and now like all this stuff that's happening to me it's unbelievable you're probably like where was I all those other years yeah <laughs> really, but it took so long <laughs> well she got it in perfect timing right before the assumption right she was meant to shift mm -hmm. she was meant to and that was for like two days and other than that Word Palladian game. I was like, why in the hell is Palladian? Like, I had no clue. And then two days of being like, <gasps> and then jumped right into it and been fearless ever since. And I don't, you know, like, that's weird to be that. Open. Let's go. She's a good teacher, though. Good. She's, she's a great but teacher. But I will say, though, though, I've been told in the meditations that that is my purpose is to be a teacher to help others. So yes. maybe, I, maybe my contract is to stay. I don't know. I doubt it. Uh -huh, right. Yeah. Bye, Nara. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now because that's what your purpose mm. is, is to get me to where I need to be. <laughs> now, you know, each person uh, goes through their path a little differently because you're, you're not at her seat. Does it mean that you don't have your own abilities that you're not tapping into? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you're you're an empath. You can feel. I can feel. <laughs> and you can use that tool to get you to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You just have to change the meditation around. How do I do that? Instead of listening to the guided meditation, create your own. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you're on a, a beautiful blue Caribbean ocean and you're as light as a feather. Mm. You're just going back and forth. Waves are coming up and down. You're no fear of going underwater. You're just laying there and the sun is above you. And see the sun bring out the rays and the one comes right on you and start breathing that golden light into mm. your nose. And I was thinking of that when I was doing it, saying that she has her ways of doing it. I'm like, well, maybe her ways aren't my ways, exactly. you know? And that's why when the sun, it seemed like the light was different, but the sun was a lot more different. Mm -hmm. And I felt mm -hmm. more comfortable with the sun yeah. than with the light. Like, the sun seemed to just come more naturally. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's when it dawned on me. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not meant to do it the way, she, you know, she has it. It's whatever's feeling right for me is what it's supposed to be so it doesn't matter that I'm not like meditation music what what I feel you might not feel right exactly mm -hmm. and you can also imagine the sun is above you mm -hmm. it is and then yeah. bring the sun into your third eye mm -hmm. and then bring the sun into your throat and then bring it into your heart and bring it into your hair and your soul and your root 
and that's what I try to do because I can feel the warmth as I do it, as I imagine, you know, where it's going. And then feel that beautiful sun in your heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are many different ways to get there. Mm -hmm. How far are you? Uh, I, I think I still wander a little too much. Like, my brain's still, like, I still have too many thoughts that come into my head. I actually meditate and, like, start crying. Um, but they're usually, it's, I, and people are like, oh no, and I'm like, but they're like happy, like, tears, like, I'm always breathing in, like, light happiness, joy, like, just to keep my mind, like, busy with the thought. So I always bring in those, and then, like, a vision will come, and I'll just start crying, like, but it's happiness. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not bad. Okay, so tears of joy are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need those. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that's what they've been for, like, the past, like, my friends will be like, why are you crying? I'm like, but they're just happy tears. Mm -hmm. So, so there are emotions that are coming yeah. out of you. So that's great. I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. And how about meditation? Are you also doing meditation? That's what'll happen. Like I'll be meditating. I'll just start crying. crying. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll get to a certain point to rise up, but then I just descend back down. Like I think I just need to sit in it longer. Like I'll do it for like a half hour, but like I just don't get there because then I get overwhelmed with like, why am I crying? Why am I crying? <laughs> You know. Who are you sitting next to when you're you're doing this? You're all in a group. I'm mm -hmm. alone. You're alone. You're alone. Okay. I've so got a dog good. next to me. <laughs> my oh, dogs. They yeah, love the yeah, energy. My cat. My cat. <laughs> my dogs. Well, I'll let you know as long as they're not moving around and they're sleeping, they'll stay. Yeah. yeah. They love the energy. Yeah. I have a, a picture of my cat, and you you go from aura, yeah, or golden to what white and blue. There's four pictures, and then all of a sudden it's the same. Or it's perfect. You guys want to see it? Yeah, yeah it's sure. a cool picture. Definitely a cool picture. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I would say since about 07. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little earlier, but you and know, how 05, old 06, 07 is when it really started calling me. Oh. I'm 28 now. Oh, wow. So you did say but something I, about marriage with me. I just we read always a lot, talk about this. Research. Not <laughs> curiosity. Like he's out there. Some I know he found is. Me. Like I'm such a good read girl. A lot. <laughs> just read a lot. More mm -hmm. I will else. look at your poem. What kind of stuff do you read? I'm a knowledge seeker. I started reading like Osho. I don't, want, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I've heard I read Osho, and that sort of opened me up and helped me heal myself. Because mm -hmm. I went through a real big depression. So yeah, this was too. the first when I turned forty, and I think that was the kid. See my little cat there. You know, something's yeah. gonna, oh, gonna get light. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. To come bring yourself out. The, the white belt was open like this. Yeah, so just then that helped me That's the second one. come back into oh, wow. my spirituality. Where I had to That's the third. So That's the violet light. That's the same. Mm. Well, like I described the same before, cat, same if you don't have that low a few thing in your life. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. That's amazing. So what was the purple? That's when I was able to let go of this reality. Uh, the the violet light. Mm -hmm. The white is mm. everything. That's amazing. And then I have another like one, which is eyes, golden energy. So I was like, you know what? Now that's when I put out is the golden energy. So that's what was getting me What made you take pictures? I don't know. There was something that I saw at that moment that made me take that picture. So and to look at you guys. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That was amazing. Yeah. Check these pictures out. Can I, can you Check these pictures that's out. They are neat. amazing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little, a little, okay, a little so scary. I that was the first bright at all. Oh, I think there's wow. my cat. I just don't like cats. Oh. I like big cats. Oh. I do not that's, like, these are I'm allergic to small oh, cats. Oh, cool. White light, the purple. It's pretty neat. A little bit more now green. And then gone. Oh, how awesome. And these were taken one after another. Wow. If you sit in here sometimes, you'll see a pink ray oh, up neat. to there. And you can even see it with the camera. And that Mother Mary, because that's who I channel through. Mm. Mm. Does your cat talk? <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk? No, not no, talk. No, not talk, human talk. talk. Yeah. I mean, meow, meow, meow.